What's going on everybody? It's Jack and Maisie of course. She's taking a quick nap. Um, but this video is essentially going to be taking you guys through my 10 day mini cut leading up to a family vacation. So there are two reasons I'm going to do this mini cut. One is yes because I'm on a family vacation where we're going to the beach. So definitely want to be um, a little bit leaner than I currently am um, on that vacation. So I know I am relatively lean but I know I could be a lot leaner. So in the next 10 days I'm going to go ahead and enter a deficit, a fat loss phase. Quick, efficient but also just enough to make me have, yeah, uh, look a little bit better with my shirt off, that kind of thing. And then also, I've been bulking. Um, if you've been following the channel for a little while, for about five to six months now, uh, it hasn't been actually like the best in terms of like I haven't been gaining two or three pounds a month. It's probably been closer to one to two pounds a month, which is totally fine um, and kind of what I wanted. But in the last like two or three weeks, my diet has kind of gone off course. My siblings have come home from college. We've been eating out a lot more. So I kind of want to use it as a reset as well. So when I do come back from vacation, I can hit the ground running. But throughout the next 10 days, I plan to just vlog certain things. I'll also do weigh-ins, progress pictures, um, calories, macros, uh, cardio sessions, all that kind of stuff I'll run you guys through. I'm also filming two full days of eating that'll be up before this video. So I'm um, like today, I'm gonna film an actual full day of eating, 1600 calories for you guys. So that'll already have been up. So today probably won't vlog too much since I'm filming all for that. But then tomorrow, day two, day three, day four of the mini cut, I'll definitely be vlogging, showing you guys what I'm eating, how I'm training, all that kind of stuff. The first thing I'll go over is my physique check that I just did outside in the garage. We're weighing in at 178.4 pounds this morning. I had a little bit of a cheat day last night. I was at a neighbor's house. They had some really nice steak and potatoes, chips, all that kind of stuff. See, amazing. Um, so the weight is a little bit higher. I would expect that to kind of come off pretty quick. Tomorrow morning's weigh-in should be a lot lower, but I'll definitely keep track of everything. Let you guys know how that's going. But I'll end this clip here and see you guys in the next one. Real quick, grabbing a banana as my pre-workout meal. Another thing I hadn't mentioned for you guys yet is I know I was mentioning I was gonna film a 16 and 1800 calorie full day of eating, but my calories for the next 10 days, I wanna average about 22 to 2300 calories. My current maintenance, I would assume, is probably 29 to 3000. Um, I've been at like 3200 and gaining a little bit of weight each month, so I would say my average my maintenance is probably, yeah, 2,900. So we're gonna drop down the calories, probably by about 700 calories, and then add 200 calories of cardio a day to achieve a 900 calorie deficit. If I was doing a long-term cut, like three months, I would say 500 calories a day is more than enough to be in a deficit. But at the 10 day mark, since I'm only gonna be in a deficit for a short period of time, I can be a little bit more aggressive with it without having to worry about um, muscle loss or any sort of like strength loss, anything like that. So I can be a little bit more aggressive with it, but yeah, I just wanna go over the total calories. As far as macros go, protein, we have a goal of 180 grams of protein. I don't think carbs and fats just kind of fall where they may. I typically eat a lower fat, higher carb diet, but that's just me personally, what I prefer, what my body enjoys. So figure out what your body likes as far as carbs and fats. But I just wanna go over my calories and macros for the next 10 days. It is now day number two of this 10 day mini cut. We have a smoothie right here. It is made up of these ingredients. We have this bag of blueberries, strawberries, mangoes. We have some almond breeze. This is just unsweetened almond milk as well as some transplant lives protein. This is the strawberry cheesecake flavor. Tastes pretty good, so we're gonna down this. I'll throw the uh, ingredients and macros on the screen now. But I'm gonna down this, we're gonna hit the gym early because I need to do the gym and the cardio all before work later this afternoon. And this smoothie is thick as hell. I might need to get a spoon. It is the morning of day three on the 10 day mini cut. Woke up 100 and 74.4 pounds, had a protein shake and a banana. Now we're gonna hop on this stationary bike for a little bit of cardio. You can see the setup right here. We got the stationary bike. We've got a little bit of YouTube queued up. So we've got about a 40 minute cardio session today. I was gonna actually go down to the trail, but typically I leave the trail rides to anything above like an hour, an hour 30. At some point this summer, I definitely wanna try a 100 mile bike ride, but that is just a lot of time that I don't have right now. That's an entire day pretty much. Um, the most I've ever done is 63 miles, but I'll definitely do something like that this summer. But today we're just on the stationary bike inside. It's about 45 minutes. I need a shower change, go to work. I have about a 11 to 12 hour shift at work today, which means I'll have to be packing all my meals the rest of the day. So I had the protein chick in the morning. I'll probably have a snack after this. And then I'll show you guys the rest of the meals when I pack those. We also have Maisie way out there. Oh no, she's naked. Maisie doesn't have her collar on, so don't look. But we're getting this cardio session real quick. I'll check with you guys right before I leave for work. Cardio is done, about to head to work. So first off, we have a meal real quick of potatoes and egg whites. 
I normally would do some eggs, but since we're on a cut, we're just doing egg whites. Then we have an orange over here on the side as well, still getting our fruit in. And as far as when I'm packed for work, when I'm gonna be gone for the next about 12 hours from the house, we have two deli sandwiches. So these are extreme wellness tortillas with about four ounces of deli meat, as well as a slice of pepper jack cheese and some mustard in those. And then we have two Greek yogurts. These are the Oikos Triple Zero. I normally go Dan Light and Fit, but these are what we had in the fridge, so two of those. That's our primary protein source. Then we have a Fresca Zero Calorie Drink, apple, carrots, and of course, a bag of Doritos. Why? Because I love Doritos. And with a deli meat sandwich, Doritos just go so great. So that's gonna be taking to work with me. Luckily, I do have a fridge where I can store this stuff. But other than that, I'm gonna dig in. I'm a little bit late, so I'll check with you guys tomorrow. It is now day four of the 10 day mini cut. I had a little bit of a higher weigh in this morning at 174.8 pounds, so I think that's up 0.4 pounds. Not totally unexpected though, because yesterday I didn't have a workout besides a little bit of biking in the morning, and then at work I pretty much sat on my butt for about 12 hours. So I didn't have much daily expenditure outside of that little bit of workout in the morning. So, and I also had a later meal. Um, so those things will lead to a higher daily weigh-in, but I don't worry too much about day-to-day -day fluctuations. I look at the grand scheme of things. Even on this mini cut, day-to-day -day fluctuations will happen, but we want to look at the week, the month as a whole, rather than just each day as it goes up and down, because that'll change for hydration, um, if you use the restroom in the morning, all kinds of things. And now we're gonna hop into a workout. I have a chest and back workout. I'm gonna actually do a voiceover, which I've never done on this channel before. So I'm gonna film the workout and then do a little bit of voiceover of like why I chose to do certain things. So that's what you guys will see next. I'm starting the workout with a vertical pulling movement. I prefer to do lat pull downs or pull ups. In this case, I'm at home, so we're gonna do some pull ups. I start unweighted for a quick set, a warm up set, and then I'll do some weighted pull ups. If you can't do weighted pull ups quite yet, or even regular pull ups, I highly recommend using some sort of assisted machine or even bands that'll help you work up until you can do full pull ups and then you can add some weight to make them more difficult. Here I'm going for three sets in the six to eight rep range. So I'm making sure the weight I use is adequate to get me to that rep range, making sure I pull my elbows to my back pockets, squeezing all the way at the top and really squeezing out that last rep. Next, I'll go into my first chest movement. This is going to be a slight incline chest press. The incline for me, I like it to be between 30 and 45 degrees. I don't like to do too much of an incline or else I feel like my front delts kind of start to take over. So here I'm keeping my elbows nice and tight around a 45 degree angle, making sure I'm going all the way down, feeling that full stretch and then all the way up at the top. I like to keep these very heavy sets, three sets of six to eight again here. And I really like to make sure I have a stable base with my pressing movements, that my feet are using a little bit of leg drive to anchor myself into the bench and then press up. I'm controlling the weight the whole time, down and up on these. The next movement is going to be a horizontal pulling movement. So I like to alternate between vertical and horizontal pulling movements. So since we started out with a vertical pulling movement in the pull-ups, next we're going to a horizontal pulling movement in these single arm rows. I do use a little bit of momentum on these, but I am squeezing at the top and trying to fight it on the way down. I really wanna make sure that I have a good stable base here once again. I use my off arm as a good stabilizer. I kind of lock out that elbow so I don't move too much. I put my knee up on the bench and have a flat foot in the back and then I try to pull to my hips so it's not so much of a pull up but a little bit of an angle as you can see here I like to have a nice arc and pulling to my hips I also make sure that between single arm movements I do a little bit of a rest so if I do my right arm I like to take a quick break before I go into my left and I'm not carrying any fatigue over from my right arm to my left arm then we'll head back to the bench on a pushing movement so this time we're gonna do flat dumbbell bench press. If it was at the gym, this might be a machine. I usually do a free weight for my first exercise and the machine for my second exercise. Or since we're at home, we only have some dumbbells. I like to do a flat bench press. As you can see here, once again, staying very stable through the movement. My back is retracted. My legs are anchoring me into the ground and I'm really pressing up and keeping my elbows nice and tight. As I kick back, I make sure to keep the weights nice and close to me. So when I do press up, I don't waste too much energy and I get right into the movement, making sure that my chest is the prime mover here. I'm not trying to squeeze my delts too much, but really focus on squeezing my chest through the entire movement. Slight pause at the top and then full extension at the bottom. And the last exercise I did today, this is a single arm lat pull down. So I am using the bench to brace because without the bench, I cannot move as much weight. So the bench is there to help me brace, make sure I have a good stable torso. Now I'm really pulling that elbow down to my hips once again. I'm not necessarily pulling back, but I'm also pulling down at the same time, trying to make a J out of that elbow. I wanna pull down and then in. As you can see there, 
fairly wobbly surface, but we gotta get it reset and then switch hands. Here, I did not take a break, like I mentioned earlier, but I should have taken a break in between hitting each arm, making sure that I don't carry fatigue from one arm to the other. And you can see me here getting a really good stable base, grabbing onto that bench and pulling down nice and controlled. And that wraps up the workout. Three back exercises, two chest exercises, pretty simple but very efficient. And make sure that you're pushing yourself each and every single rep. It is currently day six of the 10 day mini cut, just over halfway. We had a low weigh in of 172.4 pounds, I believe today. Um, we got Maisie in the back. She was sunbathing, then she moved into the shade. But we've got leg day today, so we're gonna go grab a quick energy drink from the gas station, do a quick energy drink review, hit that leg day, and I'll probably check with you guys after that. And our energy drink of choice today is gonna be the Ghost Warheads. This is the sour watermelon flavor. Boom, you can see that right there. And this is, let's see, I think 200, yeah, 200 milligrams of caffeine. We'll go ahead and crack into this, give it first initial taste test, then obviously a full review at the end. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Full review to come. Also, we got Cody a Rice Krispie Treat because he texted me and asked for a big Rice Krispie Treat. So, yep. Hooking him up so we have a good pump today. But yeah, let's go crush this leg day. Full review coming soon. We've now made it to the gym. Last little sip of the pre-workout. Not pre-workout, energy drink. Overall good. I like this more than the red, um, was that red berry Sour Patch Kids collab with Ghost. I will say the one thing I like about a Warhead is it's really sour, but you do have a little bit of sweetness at the end where this is kind of sour the whole way through. Overall, I'm gonna go with an eight one on this. Quality, sour, good kick. But like I said, I would like a little bit of sweetness at the end um, as I would expect from a Warhead, but overall good. Now we're gonna head inside. I spilled on myself, of course. But we pre-gamed with a little big booty mix on the way over here. It's funny because I used to pre-game in college, like drinking and going out with big booty mix. And now I pre-game the gym with big booty mix. Uh, yeah, how the tables have turned. Or was, what is, um, what does Michael say? Oh, how the turn tables. But yeah, so we're gonna head inside, give Cody his um, gigantic 260 calorie Rice Krispie treat. We just got back from the gym, finished a killer leg workout, and then did, I think, 15 minutes of cardio, about 150 calories burned on the stationary bike. Now we have our food right here. A Little bit of a weird combination. We've got some chicken from last night, a little bit of cauliflower, some ranch on that chicken, and then an orange to top it all off. Uh, I don't know why, but I was craving an orange, probably because I'm dehydrated from that workout and all the cardio. We're gonna knock this out. We still have a decent amount of work to do later today. Uh, some coaching calls. I got to edit another YouTube video that'll go out before this one. And then also we got, of course, take Maisie on a WALK to get extra steps in, get some sun, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll probably check with you guys tomorrow. See you then. It is currently day seven of the 10 day mini cut. We are about to log on to class. I completely forgot that I thought all my online classes were just like asynchronous online, but this class decided to have an actual time frame for the class. So from six to eight on Wednesday nights, I'll be at my desk watching an online lecture. So I'm super pumped about that. But we got Maisie in the background over there. She is super tired. Hopefully that focuses on her. She went swimming a little bit earlier today, but we have some watermelon I'm eating right now. Also, we had a low weigh-in today of 171.8 pounds which is, yeah, quite a bit down. So, so far my weigh-ins have been 178.4, 175.4, 174.4, 174.8, 174.2, 172.4, 171.8. I would not expect my weigh-ins to go much lower than 171 or 171.8. Uh, I have three days left, I'm definitely not eating as much as food as I thought I would. I've kind of been loosely tracking and probably close to like 2,000 calories what, rather than the 2,200, 2,300 I thought. But honestly, I've been really enjoying kind of like giving my body a break from force feeding it um, on this bulk. I'm eating things like watermelon, lots of fruits, vegetables, rice, chicken, similar stuff, just not as so much volume. And my body actually feels really good. I went golfing today. Once again, why is it not focusing on her? There it goes. Been going on plenty of walks, lots of cardio, good workouts, but yeah, I'm not complaining about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off tomorrow. I'll probably do more of a check-in. This is a little bit of, I kind of forgot to do this check-in today. I went golfing, as you can see in the polo and the khakis with the belt, everything else on. Maybe I'll throw up a few clips of that because I filmed some like little things for TikTok. Here we have a short-ish par four, I think probably 315 yards. Occasionally I would go for it with my driver, but today we're gonna take some nice easy three wood at it. See if we can clear that bunker on the right that's in the fairway. Give ourselves a decent shot in.
little bit of a low shot up the left-hand side. We're definitely gonna be in the rough a little bit, hopefully around 100, 110 yards out. We are about 100 yards out. There's a 97 yard marker right there. So yeah, just about 100 yards. We got 58 in hand. This will be a full swing, 58. Don't think we have tree trouble. I'm kind of looking at it now. I don't think we do. So let's go out, put this on the green, give ourselves a birdie putt. Be the distance. Okay, short, right, but we're on the green. Definitely make will birdie putt. All right, we got a birdie putt here. It is, yeah, it's gonna be quite the putt. We have a little bit of a hill on the left, which is gonna send it down to the right a touch and it's gonna level out. So a slight left to right break, aim about a cup left and let it push back through the middle. Oh, didn't, oh my goodness. That was atrocious, didn't play the break at all. That was a very poor read on my part. My, my lag putt has not been great today. Or my uh, like birdie attempts, like that wasn't even close to the hole. All right, we are in with a par, but dang, that was a terrible first putt, kind of disappointed. Rats. Otherwise, I'll check with you guys tomorrow. We got a little bit of cardio tonight, probably hit the sauna. But yeah, just three more days left and then we'll be on vacation. We're currently on day nine of the 10 day mini cut. I also just realized that the official weigh in is actually gonna be happening tomorrow morning because we leave for vacation Sunday. Long story short, it's a 10 day mini cut, but really I'm gonna do the update at like the end of day nine or the morning of day 10. That's just a quick little FYI. We got Maisie back here. We're getting lots of steps in this week. My weigh in yesterday on day eight was 172.2. This morning it was back down at 171.8. I also filmed a full day of eating, so I didn't film much of an update for you guys in the 10 day mini cut by filmed an entire full day of eating at 1800 calories that'll be up on the channel actually also before this video so to go ahead and check that out if you want to see what i ate yesterday today we've got a super busy day i was editing all morning we got packed for vacation i need to go get a quick shoulder and arm workout i need to get a haircut i need to yeah go to work later so yeah busy busy day but we got Maisie right there we're gonna say bye to her we go to the gym uh after the gym we need to do a haircut so i'll give you guys a quick update this is what the hair is looking like right now if you can see absolutely madness so we're gonna wear a hat for the workout and then get a haircut also we have sprinklers going on so i'm gonna hood set you guys down i'll check with you guys post workout just finished up the workout very quick shoulders arms we did shoulder exercise bicep exercise tricep exercise repeated that and then done in an hour now we're here to get haircuts so let's go do that Boom, and just like that, we got our hair cut. Looks decent, we'll go home, shower, see how it looks. But I also need to shave, I've been growing out the beard uh, for the 10 day mini cut, so I need to shave that before we go on vacation. So I need to shave, shower, then we gotta head to work and pack still, so we got a lot left in the day. It's right on about 12 o'clock now, so check with you guys later. It is a little dark out, but hopefully you can see me. It looks like you can. We're gonna end day with a big bowl of protein pudding with some blueberries in there. Absolutely delicious. High protein end to the day. We're ending day nine, but like I said, tomorrow morning's weigh-in is actually gonna be our official end weigh-in and physique check. We're not gonna do full 10 days because I, uh, yeah, my flight leaves super early Sunday, so I won't have time to film that, but I will be in a deficit tomorrow as well, but I'm gonna do the whole wrap-up video tomorrow morning, so we're gonna do like nine days, which is still a lot for a mini cut, especially at the extreme low calories that we were on, but I'll do the full wrap-up tomorrow, but I'm gonna dig into this guy right here. I need to finish packing, shower, and, and do a whole bunch of little things so I can have a more relaxed, easy vacation, but trust me, I'll still be filming. Um, I'll still be working. I'll still be doing all that kind of stuff, just in a different location and a little bit more relaxed, but I'm gonna dig into this 
breakfast real quick. I'll check with you guys tomorrow morning. Quickly, I'll show you guys my breakfast. We have a bunch of egg whites and some potatoes, as well as a cut up orange. Essentially, my favorite breakfast I've been having for a long ass time now, probably three or four months, but instead of whole eggs, this is just egg beaters or egg whites. So that's pretty much pure protein, some potatoes and orange. But real quick, I just wanna go over the last 10 days as a whole. So number one, this was an extreme cut. This was not something I would prolong or do longer than more than maybe a week or two. Also make note that this is not a realistic transformation for 95, 90% of people. I've been in a bulk for four to five months. I had a lot of extra weight. I had a lot of food in my digestive system. I had a little bit of a cheat meal the night before. I had plenty of water holding on. So the weight change of almost seven pounds in 10 days is not realistic for most people. And it's just water weight and food getting out of my system. I didn't lose seven pounds of fat. I didn't lose seven pounds of muscle. It was just general weight loss, which is a lot of it is gonna be water and food just getting out of my digestive system because I'm eating a lot less. But I definitely did notice some differences between the day one and the day, I guess, morning of day 10 transformation. I definitely saw some waist, some things thinning out, a little bit more muscle definition, all that kind of stuff, which is expected as I lost water weight, I was gonna cut, I was in a deficit for a little bit. But I highly recommend that this should be done to kind of prolong a bulk. I did this for a family vacation as well as to prolong my bulk. So when I come back, um, a, I'm leaner on vacation, but when I come back, I can kind of hit the ground running, reset my metabolism a little bit. I was stuffing myself, felt lethargic, and now I kind of feel refreshed and ready to kind of build muscle and, and bulk again or continue my building phase. Another thing that I want to note is I was so busy this week, I didn't really notice my cravings at all. Typically, when I'm on this low of calories or relatively this low, like a thousand below what I think my maintenance is, I have cravings through the roof, but I was so busy with videos and work and school and friends and family and all that kind of stuff, my cravings were so low. So if you do have cravings, try to stay busy. I think the best thing about food cravings is that if you get your mind off of it, you don't really have them as much. So stay hydrated, drink a ton of water, and then stay busy. And then you don't even have to think about food, which is the hardest part of dieting. When you're dieting, all you think about is food. So if you keep your mind busy, all that kind of stuff, it works. Also, one quick note. So we have Maisie over here, as you guys can see. So we are gonna have to say goodbye to her before I go to work because my little brother's gonna come home and she's gonna go to, um, I think it's called Rover or something where like people um, open up their home to house sit for their dogs or take care of other dogs while their family's on vacation. So Maisie will not be coming to Hilton Head with us but she does get to go on a mini vacation of her own, play with some friends. She's been to this house, I think two times now, so she knows the other dogs, they work really well together because that's my number one priority, making sure she's safe. But the fact that she's been there before, the owners are really nice, they um, make sure the dogs play together, they play outside time, all that kind of stuff. So she will be going to a friend's house for her vacation. You excited? <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. Otherwise, I'll end the video here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about the 10 day mini cut that I didn't answer, go ahead, ask them in the comments below. I'll do my best to respond to all those. Overall, this was just a quick little cut to lose some water weight, a little bit of excess kind of water weight and fat, and then look good on vacation, and then get right back into a building phase. I don't recommend this big of a deficit. Covered all that, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Peace.